Hey there everybody, Mark Rilly here. I uh, thought I'd do another one of these uh, message to my subscriber videos. It's been a while since I did one and uh, particularly I wanted to welcome all my new subscribers. Had a whole bunch of you uh, join in a few weeks back when YouTube featured me on the front page and so I just want to give you all a very big welcome and, uh, and tell you how glad I am that you all uh, clicked that subscribe button. It's a real honor to, boy, like overnight I think I doubled. <laughs> or more the number of subscribers that I had so uh, big welcome to all of you uh, right now I'm working on a drawing that I'm gonna uh, an illustration that I'm doing for a deviant art this is just a small section of it actually it's gonna be called the Totoro Shrine uh, anybody who knows me knows that I'm a big fan of Miyazaki's films and uh, Totoro in particular um, in any case let me just uh, answer one of the big questions right off the bat that I've been getting a lot uh, lately from a lot of different people and that is what about the next project uh, I did a video a few a while back in you know, a few months back uh, in which I mentioned the uh, next manga project that uh, that I was working on and haven't really talked about it since then well there's a reason and uh, it's not all happy news sadly you know when you are uh, uh, a published uh, author you don't automatically get to do your next project right away the way you want to at least that's the way it's working out for me you do a pitch um, you put together uh, samples uh, of, of this next story that you want to do and you show it to a publisher uh, and if they like what they see then you have a book deal and you keep moving well for my uh, latest project uh, I created a pitch, I spent a lot of time on it, showed it to the publisher, they they looked at it very carefully for quite a long time, uh, and then they decided that they just can't do it, they just can't publish this one. Uh, and there's a lot of different reasons for that. Part of it is that the sales of Mickey Falls are okay, but they're not, uh, you know, it's not like I <laughs> am selling millions of books. Uh, far from it, it's uh, sort of a modest success. And that may be making them a little nervous about wanting to uh, publish another one of my uh, book series. So I've kind of had I've kind of hit a speed bump, I guess, with this latest project. Um, but I do want you guys to know about it because people have been asking about it, and I do have faith in it. I think it's a good story. I think it's got a lot of potential. And so I want you all right now in this video to see some sample uh, art, uh, concept art some of the panels and different things that I created for this pitch, this proposal that I made. Um, up until now, no one has seen it except this one publisher. Uh, and uh, so I thought, why not let you guys have a peek at some of this stuff? Uh, and you'll at least know what uh, I'm hoping for uh, uh, as my future manga project. Uh, so have a peek at this stuff. I uh, hope you'll enjoy it, and I'll be back to, to tell you a little more about it after you see the artwork. Okay, so uh, there you have it, my little preview of uh, what was to be my next <laughs> manga series. Uh, right now it's uh, starting to look a little doubtful as to whether that's going to be my next project or not. Um, it's too bad because I think it would make a really good story. I can't give you all the uh, details about the plot or even tell you the title, I don't think, at this stage. Uh, but uh, I can tell you this, that it was going to be uh, set in the future... Uh, it was originally going to be like uh, uh, futuristic uh, Tokyo, uh, and uh, it features a boy as the main character, and uh, was going to have uh, a lot of uh, fighting and action and uh, sort of uh, supernatural powers and different stuff like that. It was going to be my most uh, grown-up story to date, I would say, uh, aimed at, at teens, I guess, but... Um, with uh, a little more 
I don't know. I'm not going to say like bloody violence. I don't get, <laughs> I don't get into that kind of stuff. But it, it certainly was not going to be a kiddie, uh, 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 manga by any stretch. And so it's a shame that uh, it doesn't look like I am going to get to do that right away. But I do have faith in it, and I think it's something that I'm going to get the chance to do eventually. Um, right now what I'm doing is starting to create another pitch uh, for an entirely different series, uh, graphic novels. This one um, may be aimed for a slightly slightly younger readership. Uh, have just got it gotten started on this one and uh, really probably can't tell you very much about it either, sadly. Um, but uh, this one would um, have a lot of supernatural stuff in it and be much more sort of fantasy, maybe a little less grounded in the real world. Um, and maybe I'll have to leave it at that for now. But let me see if I have some questions that people have asked lately that I can reply to during this video. Hang on just a second. All right, well, here's a question from... Um, a, uh, a viewer by the name of 19735 Lucy, uh, who just uh, recently asked me if uh, I was going to turn Mickey Falls into a show. And that, a lot of people have asked about that. Are you going to turn Mickey Falls into an anime uh, or a TV show or something like that? And um, happily, I have some good news on that front, and that is that there is a uh, Hollywood m movie company that's very interested uh, in Mickey Falls as a feature film. Now, we haven't got a deal quite yet, but uh, the, uh, they, they do seem very interested and uh, very serious about it. So uh, keep your fingers crossed, everybody. Mickey Falls may eventually be turned into a movie, which of course would just be a fantastic thing. Uh, uh, you know, I always tell myself with these things that um, you got to keep your feet on the ground and not start thinking, oh boy, you know, <laughs> my manga is going to be a movie. Uh, because chances are uh, not so great that it's actually going to happen. A lot of times people talk about it. They even, you know, they even make a deal and then they can just never quite manage to turn it into a real movie. So uh, uh, I don't, I'm not going to allow myself to get too uh, dancing around with joy uh, uh, at the prospect uh, of uh, Mickey Falls being made into a movie, but it, it does look like these people are pretty serious about it, and that alone is a, is a wonderful thing. Uh, so, yes, I can tell you, Lucy, uh, that uh, possibly uh, Mickey Falls will be turned into, into a movie or something other than just the manga that it is right now. Uh, let me see if I can respond to another question or two. All right, one viewer named uh, The Face of Tom asked me, is Mickey Falls magical or shoujo, uh, or what is it, uh, really? And um, it's a bit tricky to pigeonhole what Mickey Falls is. It sort of starts off with a, a kind of a shoujo feeling to it, but um, by around the third book, it starts to really get away from that whole shoujo feeling, and it becomes much more of a kind of supernatural thriller uh, or suspense kind of thing. I I was trying to make it almost like uh, a film in a way, more than just uh, um, a manga. I really wanted it, as you read this thing, I wanted you to f almost imagine seeing it as a movie. Uh, and it, uh, it it does begin with, uh, you know, uh, if there are any guys out there who are thinking, oh boy, I don't know, man, this looks like a girl's manga. Um, it begins that way, and it may sort of feel that way with the first book, but uh, as it goes along, it becomes more of a general audience uh, or uh, something that both boys and girls, men and women, can enjoy. So uh, I hope you'll give it a chance. If you like what you see in terms of the art, uh, or if you just want to help me out, and, uh, and you know, because I told you about how my next uh, uh, series uh, is, you know, kind of up in the air. Uh, so much of this stuff comes down to your sales, sadly. They look at the sales of your series, and they make decisions based on that. And so that's why I'm out here, not so much like, hey, I want to get rich. No, it's this is like a matter of survival for me and my family, sadly. I have to do whatever I can to get the word out about uh, this series. Um, because, you know, I think, it, I think it deserves to be seen, uh, first of all. I think it is a good story. Uh, but second of all, I just I need to, I feel, as part of my job, I need to uh, take uh, responsibility for spreading the word about, about these books. Otherwise, and I have experience with this, 
they'll go into the store, uh, no one will ever hear about them, and then they just sort of vanish. And then all that work you did uh, is kind of for nothing almost. And over time, it becomes kind of dangerous for you as an author. Um, maybe no one will publish you anymore. You know, if you're not, if your sales aren't reaching a certain level. So sadly, that's kind of a, a part of my uh, my reality. Let's see if I can answer one final question, and we'll wrap this one up. The uh, last question here is from Wes5020, who asks, When did you start drawing manga? Um, you know, it was back in 1991, uh, 1993, when I was living in Japan, teaching English. Uh, I got a lot of influence uh, from Japanese uh, comics at that stage, and it, that influence found its way into my first uh, comic book series, Akiko. Um, but I didn't get really serious about learning uh, how to draw uh, manga until about three or four years ago when I came up with the Miki Falls uh, concept. Uh, and that's probably why most of you had, had not heard of my name until uh, you found me here on YouTube, because I'm pretty new to the world of manga. But I am serious about it, and uh, hopefully my name will continue to get out there in the years to come. Uh, thanks again to everyone who has subscribed. It's just been an incredible year or so now that I've been on YouTube, uh, and I am really honored uh, that so many of you have uh, not only subscribed, but uh, left messages and comments and uh, encouragement along the way. Thanks to all of you who have bought Miki Falls. Uh, as you know, it's just made a huge uh, difference in my life to, to have so many of you give my manga series a chance. And I think I'll just have to wrap it up here for now and let it go. Uh, we will definitely be back with more videos real soon, as always. Thanks so much for watching, my friends. Take care.